gonna take out this FTR. And yes, sir. Okay. We'll scan your card in just a second. Oh, okay. take out this Indian FTR. I've seen a couple people doing some some rods on this. Memphis Mike did one. I didn't get to see that video yet, but I need to watch it. We have a oh, rear set location. That's interesting. Are we recording? Yes, we are recording. Is he going to scan it? Nope, he's not. All right, fine. So, let's get started. Is this in gear? It's going through its thing. Okay. It's not in gear, which is nice. Wow, you have a ride command screen? You have to forgive me. Don't judge me. I never really looked into this bike, into the what it does or what it can do but uh this is pretty cool wow this screen is is just super bright this screen is bright as heck wow bars are pretty wide let's just get situated Yeah, so I know this is their 1200cc. cc twin. This is the new craze with Indian. The new craze that everybody loves. bike it is definitely a looker when we get back we'll uh jump off and take a look at it so you guys can see it but man this screen is amazing okay really nice really nice uh friction zone there like you you get on this and you can adjust to that friction zone in no time to get a feel for the throttle gotta get a feel for the throttle alright so the seat and position let's talk about that let's talk about the seat and position you're in almost a kind of a sport bike seat and position so to say bars are shoulder width apart you got the Mickey Mouse mirrors <laughs> yeah, you like these Mickey Mouse mirrors and uh, our red line looks to be 9,000 RPMs or a little before 9,000. That's interesting. Feeling a little heat right in between my legs. Not, not insane heat, but you know, it's just warm, which is normal for any motorcycle or most motorcycles, I should say. The pegs, all right, just had to figure out where the pegs are. Indicators, is that the indicator? the heck it's like a full way a full way jog button how's the rear brake right, feels good so just getting a feel for the bike you have your front suspension is adjustable wow oh man that's awesome he has an adjustable front suspension. The front end feels really nicely damped. It's nice and firm. So every bump that I go over, it's it's a firm 
a firm tap. Not tap, but a firm compression, I should say. You know, there's a, this in this street. It's not really perfect, it's, but it's got a nice, it's got a nice little feel to it. Wow, this feels really inspiring. <laughs> Just the seat in position alone, how you're seated on a bike is pretty inspiring. So we are at Americade 2019, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know by now, did I ask somebody? You're gonna make this right, going on a highway, nothing new to some of you. And we're taking out the FTR. Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Press 1A's ride. Then we're gonna take out the FTR and have a little fun with it, which is always a nice thing. And if this is anything like when I took that Scout Bobber out, it ought to be pretty interesting. Wow, the shifts are just smooth. It's like butter. Butter shifting. Even on the highway, she feels good. Fourth gear, 61 miles an hour. Woo! She feels good. Man, I just test rolled the Yamaha MT-09, man, and they didn't want to let me, they didn't want to let me record. I said, that's fine. I, I, I respect the rules. I didn't record. That bike was horrible anyway. Man, I'm a Yamaha man, and man, I got a Yamaha. You know that already. Man, that bike is just horrible. A lot of power. Horrible suspension. Suspension on this feels good. I mean, for where we are, we're on the highway, so. And you know what? You're in a position where, all right, at 68 miles an hour, the wind does not feel, you know, it's not, it doesn't feel like it's pushing on my body. It feels almost like I'm kind of just leaning in the wind, giving you an aerodynamic feeling. That's the, that's the best way I think that I could explain it. Going over that bump, I felt like the back suspension compressed really nice and recovered really nice. Yeah, man, so I've been seeing this. it has been the craze on Instagram, the FTR, man. It's been the craze. IG. Downshifts are nice and smooth. Very nice and smooth. Front brake is really responsive. I'm gonna go to the right again. Once again, really responsive front brake. And that's just with a, a light press. Like a V-twin, it does like a little bit of... Gaius, when you're taking off. Man. This is the twisty section. It's actually a nice, uh, this is a nice little area. I, I do like when they bring us through here. It's always fun. You can kind of get a little lean on through here. Oh man, that is fun. Woo! <laughs> oh man. This is a perfect carver. Oh, and I mean, I'm no perfect. I'm no expert at carving. You know, I ride a cruiser, so you know, you just make do the best you can. But wow, it really feels planted.
sir. See, this is what I like. I like a firm suspension. Wow, nice. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> this has got so much torque. Wow. Pulled right out of that corner. Holy crap. I feel like I'm in third gear. Yep, I am. In third. Man. Let me go to fourth. I should do the fourth. I don't even know the horsepower numbers or the torque numbers. I started to read up on this bike because I was like, oh, maybe, you know, I'll try to get a demo ride, but I wasn't sure if it was even going to be here. But. Wow, fourth, even fourth gear? You got pulling fourth gear? What? Man. So I was thinking I'll try and, they have a Chieftain 116, I was thinking maybe I'll try and take that out, even though I'm not really fond of that fairing at all, not by any means, not by any means at all, I don't know what the hell he's pointing to, but, yeah. I tell you this this thing is and will be ready to handle I, man I can only imagine if you get somebody that actually fine-tunes the suspension Whew. that's a KTM demo ride coming through man, it just it feels like it just wants you to just open it up just waiting for you to open it up. <laughs> I'm only at 4,000 RPMs. Wow. And the downshifts are not bad. Uh, rough, but not bad. Hmm. Oh man! Woo! <laughs> oh! It's definitely got some gust. You could feel the gust. Take this out on the twisties, you'll have some fun, man. How's she sound? Oh man, she sounds good. <laughs> oh <laughs> man, this is nice. Oh man, wow. Oh, I figured, I figured that's what you were pointing at. Yeah. Oh. Maybe he wanted a ride. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, what is the back button? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's put you through the settings. Oh, you can connect to your phone to put your music on here. Oh. You got ride modes. Is this touchscreen? Oh, my God. It's touchscreen. Hello. 
Ah, how you doing? And you got cruise control? Damn, that's pretty nice. Uh, I guess you now you go back to your gauges. I just put it in sport mode. Ooh. Uh, I wonder if sport mode is a little twitchy. Brembo bricks in the front. Chain drive. Oh, no wonder. Wow. It's got a nice sound to it, too. How about that? You hear it? Wow, it sounds good. Oh, yes, I think I like sport mode better. Right off the bat, it, I don't know. But, you know, sometimes those modes, all they change is, uh, all they change is throttle response, really. So, maybe that could be what it is that it changed. But, what was it in? Torin Mark, whatever the middle mode is, that felt good. I couldn't complain at all. That felt, that actually felt pretty good. I enjoyed it. All right, so let's give you the walk around. That's it. Looked like it was gonna tip over. <laughs> I think I put it all, all, all the way down, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess that's just how it sits. Did anybody see the deer I point at? I I, I saw I fig I figured you pointed at a deer when I saw you yeah, do that. Yeah. was standing right there. <laughs> really nice though. It's got the ac Acropovic. I also got Acropovic exhaust on there. You got Brembo brakes. Man. That's fun. That was a fun ride. It's the other side here. It's really nice. It's a nice ride.